and welcome back everybody my name is Nun Defense the host of this channel and this is our task force we are still unboomable um, for those who are just new to the series this is our fifth video so this is episode five we started this task or excuse me we started this channel specifically for the goal of being able to communicate with our task force give them an honest insight uh, and by we that's myself and Angie my wife and co-leader of the team um, it's an opportunity a way for us to communicate directly with the task force and give be able to point things out uh, the chap God bless you supercell you're great at what you do you got to make the chat better but this you know whatever and if you happen to be watching this video and you're not on our team I think we have a lot of good information that we can share with you I personally come from the perspective of having 20 active accounts I can point out a few of them uh, let's see, Seven is mine, Troy is mine, Sprinkles, Recruiter, I use that one for recruiting purposes, so if you ever see this guy pop up on your task force, chances are I'm trying to steal some of your guys. Sorry about that, that's war. Uh, Lord Partial's mine, Irvin's mine, Turtles is not me, Turtles, let's see some more activity. Uh, Keeters is mine, Do -do -do. Emmett is mine, Blueberry is Angie, Nala is mine, Buddy is mine, Grublet 1T is mine, uh, Mishu is Angie's, Muffin is mine, Fancy Pants is mine, Silver Cat is mine, uh, Matt Dragon is mine, Grublet is mine, my favorite account right there, Grublet. Well, we're going to dedicate a, uh, a next episode to him. Uh, let's see, Silence is mine, Big Richard is mine, Bartholomew, mine. Two, 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 two. Who am I missing? Willow is mine, and of course, everybody's favorite. Well, not really. Honestly, Angie's everybody's favorite, but everybody's uh, at least everybody knows me on the team, and that's none defense. We'll just jump on his base real quick. So this is my none defense is my at main account. If anybody asks me, well, which is your main account? Well, it's got to be none. He's he's none. He's none defense. He's the, he's the leader of the team. He was the first account. He started it all. Um, my favorite account is Grublet, but again, we're going to get back to that at another point. But today, we're going to introduce you to Jones. So this is Mr. Jones. Uh, Jones is, as you can see from his victory points up here, not really high up. But as you can see from his uh, landing craft and his troops, he's actually fairly solid. He runs a pretty solid hookah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I noticed that we have some new players on our team. I'm dedicating this video to them, and I'm going to try to show them some tricks that are kind of more or less more on their experience level based on their base. So we're going to just focus mainly on Kim Monster. I actually have spoken with him, and he says he's going to be active, so I'm going under the assumption that, this, that he's going to take advantage of this training. I'm noticing that he has um, four level five craft, if you're running, uh, if you want to be a hookah user, you want to get all your craft to level 12 ASAP. If nothing else, keep your eye on that prize. You can almost ignore everything. You need level 12 craft. Once you're there, then you, you're on to something. But he has four heavies and eight zookas. So keep that in mind. We're going to come back to that. First thing I want to do is just demonstrate not to show off but just so everybody knows what page we're on I'm going to bowl over the highest player on my map which looks like a 22 so we're just gonna go ahead and bowl him over real quick he's never even gonna have a chance alrighty and these I do do no scout raids the reason that I do that is because you know time and experience has proven to me that I can beat anybody um, you know, and all things being more or less equal, and on these other accounts, it's not equal because their victory points are so much lower than their actual skill level. All right, so you, if you've watched my other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of working this left corner. If you give me this left corner to attack you with, I'm going to attack you with it, and I'm going to beat you. And you'll be sad about it, and I'm sorry. But I'm still going to beat you with that left corner. That's just the way it is. It's nothing personal, guys. You know, that's just, that's Boom Beach. Welcome to it. Glad you came aboard. 
Do, 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 do. So again, as you can see, this guy never even really had an opportunity to have a chance. Um, if I wanted to at this point, I could go ahead and protect the core. It's a term meaning that I would destroy everything and then destroy the HQ. It's a term coined by Nick at Night and other successful YouTubers. If you're watching this video, chances are you've already watched a Nick at Night video or Ben 10, Reversal or Boo Tramp or any of the other ones. And I uh, have tons, I have mad tons of respect for all those guys. They certainly gave me the intro that I needed. Um, everything else is pretty much self-taught. They gave me the basics and then I've used what everything that I'm teaching has been learned over running again over 20 active accounts. All right, so that was that little demo. As you can see, I just absolutely crushed that level 22 base. What I want to do is, since my guys are so much stronger than a lower, you know, a, a true new lower level, we got to do some work here. So watch this. One, two, three, four. See you there. And we're just going to bomb everybody. So nobody will survive this run if I have anything to do about it. Good job guys, come on. So the goal is we're we're killing these guys. They they are there's no way they're surviving today. I'm sorry fellas. You're dead. It was it, it's for a noble cause. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I'm gonna go on the next few uh next couple of maps way short troops and I don't even want to be able to accidentally drop an unfair amount of troops so I'm just making sure they're just not there I'm gonna attack clear this map uh, I'm already seven minutes in but I'm going to clear this map using just three heavies and seven zookas well I'm either gonna clear the clear my map of player bases or I'm gonna be out of troops one thing one of one of those two things are gonna happen all right come on heavy he's a stubborn heavy and dead all right so now we can retreat okay i have to resist the urge to respawn we have seven seven minutes 27 seconds so i'm just going to start right here and i just want you to watch along basically i'm going to keep using the same trick over and over and i'm just going to get this left corner and I'm just doing the same trick over and over. And so, well, doesn't that get boring? Winning never gets old. Remember that. I'm attacking the things that are towards the rear, the things that I'm going to have to deal with later. And I know, you know, it kind of makes sense to attack the things that are going to attack you now. I get it. That's just not the right answer. Um, the, I always say, you brought your guys to this island. To get into a fight let them fight so stuff that you're gonna have to deal with interact with first often I mean assume you got to use your gunboat to take out the cannons take out certain things of course but let them fight don't be afraid to let them fight they are not scared to get into a fight so that was a pretty easy base uh, that was a no casualty run so what I'm doing is I'm just I, I hit attack and just do this you can do the same trick over and over I'm bombing any cannons and if the cannons are touching something else that I can hit even better you know what I could have hit this uh, my this um, what is that that's a, the quarry when you're at a low level and you really want to win do the gunboat round first, okay, and make sure you are maximizing. And see how I just retreated and went right back in? Because I could have done a better job of gunboating there. So therefore, it was worth it to me to spend the gold to go back in and try again. All right, see how, how I'm doing this? Now keep in mind, as a lower level, guys, I understand. I have less, I have way more gunboat than you. I get it, you know, I've worked this account for, you know, some time, he's been with me. So, it, even this kind of isn't fair, but the, the principles never change. Get to the corner, bomb the cannons, 
have your Zookas behind your heavies. You'll see me, and a lot of times, I love flaring to this corner, and then for more advanced bases, you're often gonna want to flare right here. Let me show you that. Remember that flare. I'm gonna do one more video on Jones once as we get to the time limit there. Um, you know, so that, because I still have a lot of maps, or bases that I can beat, and I just wanna show you just, again, it's, it, it makes it seem so easy. If Supercell ever watches these videos and see how easy that I take advantage of these corners, they'll probably redesign that corner just to annoy me. So let's just not even tell them about that. But I'm just going to go ahead. I could, at this point, obviously, I could protect the core. But no, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this thing off. Let's wrap that up. So we're looking like we're at 11 minutes. So again, guys, I'm not doing anything super advanced all right now i know new players without the experience that i have um you know you're probably looking at this and like wow he's doing these things so fast it's so simple it's bomb the cannons get to the corner work your way down that's what you want to do so in this case this cannon look at this cannon here he's so far out of range i don't even have to waste artillery on that Check this out. So I'm just going to go ahead, before I drop anything, I'm going to get to my corner. But this is free. See the stone quarry here? I can go up there and take that without taking any damage. My damage to a heavy does not even count. We're going to flare to the corner. Okay, see how that? Not a single defense has shot at me yet. Okay, this is an important trick. This is called overflare. Technically, all I need my troops to do right now is be behind the HQ. Well, I'm taking the time to flare them way behind the HQ. I tell my people all the time, guys, make people wonder where the heck you're going. Get your guys so far out of the way that it's absolutely insane. And then attack. Boom, boom. Let's say boom, boom, and there you go. It, it, easy to it. I mean, it's it's a breeze. I bet we have time for one more. <sighs> so you know, this is again just to just to show. I know if you're a new guy, you don't have the statues that I got, so you definitely. You feel in your heart, and I respect this, that you know that your troops aren't as strong as mine, and that's why I'm able to do this. And you know, and you 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 have a, a point on that, a perspective. I'm not gonna delete all my statues for the sake of this. I mean, as much as I'd be willing to, but I need still need this account to, for uh, attacks on the task force. If I ever get to a point where I no longer need this account, I will delete all the statues. And I will still use the same basic principles, and I will still win. I won't crush people nearly as much. Whatever. But I'm stopping this video. Oh, I didn't mean to uh, reload. What was I thinking? Stop. 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 Ah, terrible. Okay, so I'm stopping. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video here and go ahead and get it posted up. And so episode six, I suppose, will be uh, some more of Jones. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, wrap up his all the player maps, our player bases on his map. So th as always, thank you so much for watching. And please remember that we are still unboomable. And please be safe.